everyone. I just wanted to share with you a traveler's journal that my mom and I worked on together. I also wanted to show you just a small preview of the new collection that I will be releasing. It's the Winged Elements. I did have the papers for the Winged Elements out quite a while ago, but I did revise some of the pages and I added to the collection. So there's ephemera, postcards, tags, and so forth. I will just show you a little preview of some of the pages. Some of these um, stayed the same, so um, like this one was from the original kit, but then I added these lined papers and I double-sided these. Now there's lined papers to go with the collection. This was one that I did revise from the original, as well as this one. And if you've already purchased the winged elements and you want some of the revised images, just send me an email and I'll make sure that you do get those revised designs. This is a new one. So I believe there's 15 designs and then five lined papers, five envelopes, five large tags with borders, um, three sheets of postcards with tags, I believe. I don't have all of them printed out, but I just wanted to give you a little preview of a few of them. These are just ones that I printed out to send out in a kit. And sometimes when you print them out, the very top gets cut off. So you kind of just have to cut around that shape and then I just distressed the edges. But I do try to make the envelopes as big as I can get them. And these are the large tags. I printed these on my older model HP LaserJet. It's uh, M251NW. And I love my older ink, um, not inkjet. <laughs> I love my older laser because the toner, I get the remanufactured toner from Amazon and it's very reasonable. Whereas my newer model HP, for whatever reason, the remanufactured toner is a lot more. So if you guys can still get your hands on one of the older model laser printers, you know, if you're looking to go shopping for a printer, it is one I highly recommend. Now here's another envelope. I printed this on pearl paper. And some more tags. And there is just a preview of the new collection. Now the Traveler's Journal, and my mom and I have done quite a few of these, and I'm hoping to get more videos showing all of the journals that we've done, but I will have them all listed on the site for sale. I believe we have about 10 done and we're doing some more, but I know they're gonna go fast. Uh, <laughs> just from past, experiences uh, they tend to go really fast so if you do want one of these I just recommend that you check out the site they'll be for sale at my dream CTC site under the journal section and um, I like I said they'll be around 10 and then my mom and I are doing a few more I'm not really taking too many custom orders at this point I'm trying to recover from a neck injury and it's had me down for quite a while. I am recovering slowly but I am so far behind and I am trying to uh, you know just kind of get back on track so I won't be doing any custom orders for a while. So when these are available I just recommend grabbing them um, if you're very interested in getting one. Okay so starting off what we did here on the cover 
is we have this little charm. We did a little beading and strung it around the elastic. We took composition notebooks and we had them cut so they were in strips. And so this is just a strip of a composition notebook, which just gives you a lot of space to write notes or whatever you might want to put in there. And then, let's see, the pins here. We also did some more beading, added some bling. Um, they're, the, they're the nice rose gold metallic, or no, is this a rose gold? I can't tell the lighting. <laughs> but um, I think it's just the gold metallic pens. And they're the Cynthia Rally pens. So these pens do come with the journal. If you're looking for pouches for your traveler's journal, again, I hope to have those in the next few weeks. So inside we just have some journal cards. And here's one of the tags that I glued to the front of the page and then I just kind of used my exacto knife to create this little pocket that holds this little tag. And then I added little gold metallic word sentiments to it to embellish it a little bit. You guys all know me, I love to embellish. <laughs> and then here's one of the lined papers. Created a little flap here with one of the ephemera cards. And this is another ephemera card, actually a couple more of them. And one of the word sentiments that comes in the collection. And then here I had a weekly stamp and I just stamped on the white side of the card. And then here is a little notepad for writing little notes, sticky notepad. And then of course, places to journal. And then here is one of the ephemera cards. So you could insert a picture here. Uh, this I cut out, fussy cut, the butterfly out of the ephemera pack and then added one of the Martha Stewart butterfly stickers over it. And here's another ephemera card. I just created this little pocket to hold it in place. Here's one of the smaller tags. And I did a little stamping. I love, as you guys know, I love using my stencils. This is a Tim Holtz stencil. And I believe it came with a uh, butterfly cling stamp set. Um, I think you can get them at Michael's or Joann's. Here I just applied a little dragonfly sticker over it, over the dragonfly on the tag. places to journal. Create a little flap there. Just use some washi tape to make my hinge. And this is, I just cut half of the po uh, postcard that's in the ephemera pack is what I did there. And this is one of the lined papers. And then here I used one of the borders to create a side pocket 
added a word sentiment and here is one of the journal cards from the kit. Here I used a stamp that says Brilliant Ideas, so another place to do journaling. And more over here, another place you could insert a photo. And this is just a leftover piece from one of the lined papers, so you could actually still journal across it. And then I just added another word sentiment. I got these word sentiments. I loved them. I got them at Dollar Tree and I'm pretty sure you could still get them. I think I'm going to go back and get some more because I had so much fun using them. They just added that little touch uh, that that just gave, you know, a little more interest to the page. And there's another one and another one and another one. <laughs> More stamping. This is from the Prima, an older Prima stamp set. And this is all ephemera from the collection. I loved this stamp. It says smile, giggle, laugh, and joy. And I think I got that one at, oh, I think it was Hobby Lobby. This, these other stamps, this Brilliant Ideas, I think I got that at Hobby Lobby, and then um, Show Me How Brave, or Show Me How Big Your Brave Is, that I believe I got at Hobby Lobby, and this monthly calendar, I have no idea where I got that, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I, I love it, but I know it's an older stamp, I'm not even sure if you could still get it, but these ones are newer. And I believe I got them all at Hobby Lobby. And this is just one of those Martha Stewart butterflies. I was able to run to Tuesday morning and pick up a whole bunch of those stickers. Uh, I lucked out my the timing. I just happened to just get there at the right time. And then this is the other side of the pouch. I love these pouches because you can include just little uh, bits of things. Like here is a, a journal card. And then I have some of the Prima butterfly paper clips. And then here's some washi tape. I got these also at the, the dollar store. I just kind of cut them in sections. And then another journal card. Both these journal cards came. They're in the the kit. I, I think, actually, these are freebies that come in the newsletter. So if you get the newsletter, guess what, guys? These are the freebies that are going to be included in them. Okay, so... And just so to subscribe to my newsletter, just go to dreamsetc.com and at the bottom of the homepage, just click on subscribe and then you should be getting the newsletter. So there's all those goodies. And then I just put all my business cards in here just to demonstrate. But here's a little business card holder, so when you're traveling and you run across, uh, you might run across certain people and they hand you a business card, then you can just, you have a place to put it. And here is another section of a composition tablet that was cut down to this size. And then I just used one of the design papers, I, I cut it to size. Um, this from the winged elements. I'll probably cover the inside of this. I'm not sure because it kind of makes a nice place to uh, add in dates if you wanted to or uh, special times, appointments, so forth. So I might just leave that. And then you have a whole tablet here where you can do a ton of journaling. 
and more places for business cards. And then here we have like, um, I think they're called little dashboards. Here's, here's a, another little journal card. And I just created this little laminated pocket and then another Martha Stewart butterfly stickers over that. And then here is another ephemera card and tag. And then here is one of the envelopes. And I need to put a card inside the envelope, which I will do. And then you have a monthly calendar for this is for 2018 and 2019 so you have two years here so this would last you a while and then when you're done with it you can take it out and replace it with a new one and then here's more journal cards so lots of room to journal place photos and here's a tag and another tag And there is our travel journal. Now I have to show you guys some of the others. <laughs> I'll just show you the outer parts of it because I don't have time to, you know, do every single one. I would be here for a long time. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? This is all, got this all tangled somehow. So, and you can, this has a little um, clasp so you could take this charm off and if you didn't want it on here, um, you know, you could attach it to your keychain or whatever you like. And then also on the side with the beads, bead dangle, it's got a little um, clasp where you can detach it. And, and this just slides back on the front like so and I just kind of use a little paper clip to hold hold it in place there and then oop, I forgot my, I forgot to put my pen back on so, um, Okay, and so there is the preview of that one, and let me show you the others that I have. Okay, so here is one of the tea rows. I guess I can do a brief uh, little flip through. And then I will be embellishing all of these pages. There's the business card holder and the planner. And here's the pen that it comes with. Oh, this wonderful beading. Look how pretty. My mom is the one who created most of these. I just go in again and I just kind of embellish them. That's all I did. And then here's another T Rose Cafe one. Um, here is a fairy journeys. And then 
again, look at all the wonderful beading. And then, let's see, I have quite a few tea rows. It looks like I have four tea rose cafe journals. And again, after I do all the embellishing in these, I will do a preview, hopefully another video, um, showing how I did the inside of these. Or how I, sh I should say how my mom and I did the insides of these. Again, since she did most of the work, I just go in and embellish, embellish, embellish. That's my job. <laughs> but she did all the beautiful beadwork. She put all the books together. I helped her with the pens. We did do the pens together. And then I just go in and just add a few special touches, some stamping and so forth to the end. If you don't see them on the site, it's probably because I don't have the embellishing done, so just shoot me an email. And if you want one, let me know, <laughs> and I will get you taken care of. All right, so there's just a preview on um, some of the other travel journals, and I have to show you, this is one that we have in progress. It's a huge one. So last week, I had a lovely lady come visit me in my studio. She flew all the way from Washington just kind of to do a meet and greet and we had to do a little bit of a project so she had started on this larger size travel journal and it is large we were sizing it around a, a full-size composition notebook and so i created the uh, cover here from the winged elements collection and there is a a4 there's five a4 sized designs in the kit and that's what I used here. I did on the front and the back and then I'll be doing craft text here which I might cover after I get everything strung. Not sure. Not sure yet but I use that's what I used here on the spine is some craft text and then of course you know I'll clean this up with a little trim or something to decorate it and then I'll be adding in some notes, um, a calendar, and I'll be, co I'll be recovering all of this. Um, she covered this composition book for me. This is one of the A4 papers as well from the Winged Elements. And there's the back. And then sh she uh, used some of the ephemera and we created a folder. I just need to cut it and we'll have our little flap folder flap there as well as on this page. So that's what I have in the works and I won't be finishing this up until I get my Tea Rose Cafe part three done, which is almost done, thank goodness. <laughs> and I also have some other custom orders that I'll be finishing up. But this is kind of what I have in the works and um, as far as travel journals go, and I'll be up uploading another video on another Jane journal that I just I can't do any more custom orders, but when you see these available on the site, uh, just grab them as, you know, they're, they're going to go quick. They always do. Uh, my mom and I take so much pride in our work. We really put our heart and souls into everything that we make, and so... You know, it takes time. It takes time to, to add in all those fine details. But anyway, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video of the Travelers. Uh, again, be sure to subscribe to the newsletter for those freebies and coupons. And if you have any questions, please send me an email. Thank you so much for watching.